in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed now hear me this is what I want you to do, my goodness. There are so many miracles I already see now. I want you to check yourself this moment. The moment you find out that something has happened to you, I want you to run either to the front here. Those who are standing, wave your hands so they will see you. Begin to come out right now. Miracles are happening. Anambra stage, are you celebrating Jesus? Creator of the universe, what can you do? Celebrate Jesus. What can you do, Jesus? Creator of faith, creator of the universe. What can you do? What can you do? Keep coming, keep coming. Celebrate what Jesus is doing here. You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change? You are Jesus look what God is doing hallelujah Sir. now hear me I'm going to pray I'm going to pray for the request shortly so ushers please begin to go around if you are yet to submit your request I want you to wave it up let the usher see it now pass it to the person anybody by your left and right to make it easy for the ushers nobody will read your request please worship team when we take a few testimonies here I want one of you prepare and come and give us one hot Igbo song here. One, one song that will announce to principalities and powers that there is a visitation. Make sure you know what you come and sing here. Are we together now? Hallelujah. Amen. I see people still submitting that. I think we should do it now. Two minutes. One hot Igbo song. Who is, who is handling it? Please help them, help them. Let's save time. Anambra said, Keep coming. for one minute while you submit your prayer request yes please yes sir. listen very carefully to the following testimonies yes please sir she said from a tender age what, once been, once you bring them just turn them so we can okay from a, from a tender age she has been having severe migraine severe migraine from a tender from age. a tender age but as soon as you pray what happened to you now my dear um, throughout today I've been having help us with the mic yes 
felt that I've been having this aura of headache. I've been having migraines since the past three days. And right now, I am okay, perfectly In the fine. name of Jesus Christ, perfection for you. In Jesus' name. Next person, very quickly. Praise God. I've been jogging, but after a while, I developed knee pain. But while you mentioned the knee, doctor, completely jump now. Jump. Any pain? Any pain? Are you celebrating miracles? Now, when when the people come, just turn them so the congregation can see who is talking. Yes. Let's have somebody there. Go ahead. Very quickly, Pastor. Yes. Straight to the point. Anyone who is ready, let's save time. Okay, my name is Kindness. I have this eye problem. I've been using glasses for the five years now. Eye problem? Yes. For how long? Five years. Yes. And right now? Yes, I've got to my Oh, come on. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. I have to get my green since I was in primary four. Because of that, I'm on low court. Oh, you're on low court? Yes. Because of it? Yes. And what happened now? I Completely. Give Jesus praise for the mighty things that he's doing. Yes, please. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. I had a stroke last year, March. You had a stroke? Last year, March. Yes. And since then, I've been undergoing physiotherapy. Yes. The paralysis on the left hand. Yes. So we have been working severely to see that I lift this hand without so much yes. stress. So as we were ministering, I fell under the anointing and now I can lift the hand. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Put it down, madam. Lift it up again. Put it down. Lift it up. Oh, come on and I'm brassed. Are you giving Jesus praise? We rebuke that devil of stroke. It will never return to you again. In Jesus' name, man of God, yes, please, quickly. Praise the Lord. This young man has been having severe Just knee pains for over one year. Severe knee pain. On both knees. And but right now. It's totally gone. Check yourself. Totally gone. Completely gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, please. Sir, the lady said when you prayed for fibroid, she felt a move in her stomach. And she has been having... How long have you had the fibroid? For four years now. For four years. Go to the hospital and check yourself. We declare perfection for you in the mighty name of Jesus she Christ. Also prayed, yes, she also please. had waist pain for three years and is also totally gone. Waist pain gone completely in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, um, I had breast lump. What's your name, my dear? My name is Faith. Is okay. I had breast lump and my I've God, are you seeing twice. so many miracles? For a man of God here, beginning from tonight, the next time you climb your altar in the name that is above all names, the fire that you have seen from this conference, may you take that fire back to your assembly. May you take Abaka Baratosia. Everything you have seen here, the grace to reproduce it, let it be released upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. She has been operated on the, her breast twice. Oh, they've operated your breast. Talk yes, to us. I've had breast lump. First, they operated, it grew back. Second, they operated, it grew back. And then I Oh, you had a lump. They operated it and it grew back. What happened right now? I recently, it grew back recently. I was already planning on going to surgery and stuff. But I and what happened? I can't correctly find anyone now. <laughs> Yes, please. Um, this young man. Praise the living God. 2005, I had a uh, joint dislocation on my right hip joint. Yes. And when you were praying about um, joint problem, waist problem, and bones problem, I felt a great relief. Even this morning, I took medicine while coming down. What couldn't you do? I couldn't run. I couldn't my friend, run. Let the devil see you. Give Jesus praise. Are you celebrating Jesus? That is how you will run to your blessings. That is how you will run to your destiny. And every power that has limited you in the name of Jesus, it must give way tonight. Shout a loud hallelujah. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. My name is Daniel. I'm an evangelist. I used to have splash in my body. 
the thing used to disturb me even if I go out to preach God. You used to have I what? Would, I used to have scratch in my body. The okay. thing will be scratching me. If I take from my tail, if you take my skin, all of it, it has bleached me. If I take what happened to you now? Now I felt so hot when you were singing, and the pain have left me. I'm not feeling scratched. completely. Yes. Thank you. Too. In the name of Jesus Christ, are you ready? Yes. She has blood vision from childhood. Blood vision. You couldn't see. What's but your name? I used to have blood vision. I don't used to see if I have this long side. Long okay. Side but immediately after prayer, I removed. What my couldn't you see clearly? I don't used to see far. I okay. Used to wear glasses so that yes. I pick up things that are far. Right now. But immediately after prayer, I removed my glasses and I. You removed your glasses yes, and you could see now. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, that demonic thing would never return to you again. Yes, sir. Very quickly. Praise the Lord. I used to have pain on my leg. Sometimes I wear bandages, many drugs. After everything, I'll still be having leg pains. But when the man of God was praying, my leg felt very heavy. And now I'm very free. Completely. It will never return to you again in the name of Jesus. Very quickly. Praise the Lord. He couldn't stand. Like oh, that boy that you were trying to bring out here. Oh my God. Look at the boy could not walk. The boy could not walk. Some of you saw him there. Look at this. What happened to him? Hold on. What happened to him? In December, he saw Please hold on. Can you help us amplify that, that mic less? In December, when yes. we were writing the exam, he suddenly started uh, dragging his left feet. Yes. And we noticed that the left arm was now like this. So we went to the hospital and he was diagnosed of brain tumor. He was diagnosed of a brain tumor, so he couldn't walk. Yes. What's his name? Suriel. 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 Can he Zuriel. hear me? Suriel, look at me. Come, walk. Walk. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at. Listen, you see, hold on. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Look at a little boy like this. If the devil can oppress a little boy like this, there is no limit to what he can do if allowed. Stretch your hands, everybody, as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, over this, our dear son, and let's declare perfection. We have just about five minutes or so. Very quickly, stretch your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, oppression will not arise a second time. You have brought perfection to this boy it remains so in the name of jesus christ amen and amen give jesus praise yes please uh, praise god um, over the years i had serious waist pain it's a congenital issue so i've gone for series of tests i live on drug because yes. of it so if i drive too much i mean serious pain i entered there with the pain when you mentioned the case i was bending down to look for it i couldn't find it again completely bend down any pain bend down any pain and Ambra, are you celebrating Jesus I want to hear my mass testimony yes please so my my problem is in my stomach and on my nose I let me free, uh, take the one of the stomach there was a time I was having stomach problem they say I went to a teaching hospital and they say it is a prolapse that my womb is dropping that I will do operation so I didn't do the operation I started praying you know and the things subsided but this week if the thing came and said they are giving me the same things it was giving me. Yesterday, I couldn't. In short, my stomach is relaxed. And what happened now, I Mama? Free. Completely free. Then the one in the nose. March, March last year, 2021, my, my nose started the swelling. It, it, it will swell and we diminish. We swell and we be burning me so much. Before I came to this program, it, it was doing the same, but now, Hey, I am free. In the name of Jesus, look at Mama jumping and celebrating. Praise the Lord. I'm here to thank God for delivering me from brain disorder I had for seven years. Brain disorder. I, I have been on psychiatric drugs. Look at this. My parents are even planning to. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Listen, listen, young lady. Brain disorder for how long? For seven years. You went to the hospital. Yes. Verified. Yes. I have done scan. 
and an X-ray, nothing. They didn't see anything. I continue to be on psychiatric drug, but to no avail. But tonight, I what's that song you sing? Turaya Kamara. Come on, you have to pass here. Someone, if you want to help me. the kind of songs I want you people to bring you. I shouldn't be the one teaching you your songs. You still owe me one song. Hold on. Worship team, advise yourselves. You still owe one song here. Yes, sir. I'm a witness to this. We stay, she's my neighbor, twin duplex. We hear her every night screaming, saying, sometimes she could be talking all through the night. Oh my God. So, my wife, my dear, Say everything I ask you to say. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say Jesus is my savior. Jesus is my savior. I have no business with madness. I, I have no business oh, with come madness. on. Come on, Anambra. Thank you, Jesus. I have no business with madness. They are gone forever in Jesus. Let me prophesy to someone. These Egyptians that you see in the name of Jesus, you will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. Let's take two or three more. I want to hear the testimonies of these mothers. Yes, please, Sir, very quickly. For a week, he has been having severe chest pain. Severe chest pain. Such that he could not shout. And right now. But right now, he has been shouting. Shout hallelujah. And no pain. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pain gone forever. Pain gone forever. Yes, please. I went to the hospital um, yesterday to see the doctor for ENT because of my truth. Yes. I've been having so much discomfort, especially when I'm praying. Each time I'm praying, I'll have severe pains. So... Are the requests was, here? Please bring them. Bring them. The doctor, if you're yet to submit your request, please wave it so that someone can pick it very quickly. Yes. Ushers, help us. Any other person, please. I wasn't able to see the doctor yesterday, so I heard you are coming. I said I will come here. So I took the money that I will use for the hospital to transport myself here. You came yes. from where, madam? From um, Amobia. I'm, I'm a Catholic, but I, I follow you on Facebook. Yes. So I, I took the money, I came here. I was praying to God for the replacement. In the morning, when I came here in the morning, I was begging God that tomorrow that I will go to the hospital, that I need the replacement. What happened to you in, now? Immediately I got home, I got transferred for people owing me. So I came this evening. My throat that was paining me, severe pains. After prayers, my voice be crack, I cannot talk. But I feel I felt it. No pains. I'm talking so clear and so loud. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah to Jesus. Sir, for over seven months, somebody has been owing him a hundred thousand naira. Someone has been owing you. He has been for how long? Seven months. Right here. What yeah. happened? Right here. Yeah, he sent you your money. Look at this. Look at this. And I will restore unto you the years that the canker worm has eaten. Let me prophesy over someone. Everything that left you that should not have left you by the power of prophecy, I call it back to your life now. Let's have two more. Sadly, we cannot take all of them, but here's what I want you to do for me. In tomorrow's session, you can, you can testify. The most important thing is that Jesus came and he visited his people. Hallelujah. Let's have one or two more, very quickly. I had, praise God, I had pneumonia last year, last year, but it was not treated Come properly. Come again. Pneumonia. Last pneumonia. Year. Last year, it wasn't treated properly. But today, I was believing God for my husband. I was even praying for myself. But throughout, whenever I get to a cold environment like this, my, I'll be having pain in my lungs and then my shoulder blade, I can't take a deep breath. It's yes. depending me. I've been holding my chest. But after the prayers, I just remembered I had the pain and checked. Everything Check it has now. Gone. It has Check gone. it. Check it. Any pain? Everything has Check gone. your hands. No pain. No Hallelujah. Pain. No pain. No pain. Praise 
And may the Lord perfect your husband since you stood in for him. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Hallelujah. I was determined that today, that I am not going to go home the same way I came. Excess 43 years was broken at this. Come again. I Sikusel. didn't hear that. Sickle cell for 43 Help us. She's under the anointing. What's the issue? You mentioned sickle cell. For oh, sickle cell. For 43 years. 43 years. In a name. The My, power of God is still on her. Yes. Um, um, I have this. When you mention left side lumps, I have it. I've operated it once and it's grown back again. And even when I touched my breast, I feel pain. But right now I can't. I Completely can't. gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns. Let's have one or two from this very quickly. Yes. I had a in my right hand. You had a lump too? Yes. Right it now. Is it's disappeared. Yeah. Oh, come on, Anambra. Mighty God. She had a, 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 a tooth pain that affected uh, the left side of her brain. Yes. That she kept on feeling so much pain that she cannot lie down with one side of her head. She always lie down with this. But when you made the declaration, she just noticed that her hair was just free and there's no pain all around Completely. Her head. Completely she's gone. free forever. Amen. Now, let me hear. Yes, please, very quickly. Yes, she, uh, he cannot look at the light. This is his glasses. Who? Now, the gentleman. The man, yes. How old is he? How old are you? 12 years. 12 years. What happened to him? Now he can look at the light like he. Oh, he couldn't like look at the light? Yes, sir. Can you see me? Yes, sir. How many fingers? Four. Two. One. Five. Come on now. I broke my arms as at three years old, and each time it do reoccur that I will feel this pain in this arm that I can't even raise it up or raise it down or do anything with it. As at two weeks ago, the thing reoccurred again. And after the prayers, I can now wave, as at this afternoon, I can't wave this hand like this. Wave it now. Wave it. Let the devil see you waving it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, for all of you who are left, sadly we may not be able to take the testimonies, but to God be the glory. Marvelous things is done in Anambra. In the name of Jesus, those who are here and those who couldn't make it to testify, and all who have been healed and delivered following online, in the name of Jesus, your healing miracles remain permanent. In Jesus' name I pray. Please everyone rise and stretch your hands towards the altar. We are praying right now. In one minute, I want you to begin to pray. Father. This is the moment where you visit me. This is your prayer request. It's the most accurate representation of your desires. Go ahead and pray. Philippians 4 and verse 6. Please give it to us. We are praying now. Philippians chapter 4. Please help this gentleman and ushers. Just bring this request. Any protocol, come up and pick the request so that you drop them properly. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. It says to be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says, let your requests be made known. Don't assume that God knows it. Let your requests be made known. Everyone here, you wrote this by yourself. This is the most accurate representation of your desires. I want you to begin to pray in one minute. Father, these Egyptians that I see today, I will see them no more forever. Go ahead and pray as I bow my knees to pray over your request. Someone is praying. We just have two or three minutes for this. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh. Covenant keeping God Yahweh the covenant keeping God One more time
stretch your hands in one minute and begin to declare father the only thing that i will carry from here is answers to prayer i will never have to write this again go ahead and pray someone is praying and declare that every request written here will never have to be written as a request again shout a believing amen hear me anybody who says over his dead body for God to visit you like this the earth will open and swallow them Every human vessel who must come into partnership with the Holy Spirit to make for the answers in this request, I compel their ministry over your life. And hear me, prophetically, I stand upon this request. Everything that has risen above you, I bring it under the feet of Christ. In the name of Jesus, now hear me very quick. I didn't tell him, but the Lord has put it in my heart. I am going to request our father, Bishop Onubogo. He's going to come and stand here in his capacity as a priest and one who 84 years never visited a hospital. Never been admitted in a hospital. He's going to speak to us, his children, everywhere around the east god has granted me the privilege i cannot begin to tell you about this awesome man of god alongside a number of ministers here that everywhere god sends me provided is around the southeast they will inconvenience themselves and make sure they are there this is why he came at 84. there is a grace that this man carries that somebody's destiny is about to receive now please hear me as he comes whether he speaks in Igbo he speaks in tongues let your heart be open believers are usually um I think it was it was it was Reverend Obi that said that there, there is need no it's Dr. Cosmas there is need for sensitivity people carry graces but hear me as I prepare to ask daddy to come there is no need cajoling you apostle i need jesus i need him now i need him fast there are people who are here you know by the spirit that god has been beckoning on you there is another category you are saying apostle i remember giving my heart to jesus but as it is right now my life has gone haywire I need restoration these two groups of people I'm going to count one to three run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand in front of me here are you ready I begin my counting one are you celebrating salvation run to Jesus 
I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. Run to Jesus. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. The cross before me. The world behind me. No turning back. Keep coming to Jesus. No turning back. The cross before me. The world behind me. No turning back. No turning back. Come. Quickly. Win that war final in your destiny. Don't say I'm ashamed or don't say there are too many people. That you know today that if the trumpet sounds, it is not heaven you are going to. Make your way to Jesus. Thank you, oh my Father, for giving us your Son and leaving your spirit in your work on earth is done I appreciate every one of you if you are still joining them join quickly and those of you who are watching by television or watching by way of internet here is your opportunity from Nigeria from America from Europe Africa here is an opportunity for you to know and to meet Jesus right from Anambra states to the nations of the earth we bring you Jesus the life of God we bring you Jesus the son of the living God I salute and congratulate all of you here some of you are making this decision for the first time others are rededicating your life to Jesus the Bible declares that whosoever comes to him that he will in no wise cast away can I tell you true revival starts with genuine repentance and conversion when people are not converted it says if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face turning from their wicked ways that I will hear from heaven and I will hear their prayers and heal their land lift your right hand all of you who are in front I want you to say this loud and clear you are not reciting a poem Jesus is here Say after me, Lord Jesus. Jesus. One more time, shout it. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Tonight, Tonight. I, believe in you. I believe in you. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that I am a child of God I am saved washed by the blood of the Lamb the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever I declare that I am a child of God is someone preparing bishop so that bishop will come and make the decrees even if it's just in a minute he's going to declare that fatherly blessing now I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ by the authority of scripture I declare your sins forgiven say amen, amen. I call you by the authority of scripture recipients of eternal life amen. And in the name that is above all names, everything that is not of God, I command it to give way right now. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. amen and amen. Welcome to a new life. In Jesus' name I pray. Okay, just an information for you. Okay, please listen carefully. You've just done the first step. Second step. Friday. 5 p.m. Let me explain salvation to you. It will help you. Many of you who went back, it's not because you are not good. It's just because you didn't know the right things. 
So 5 p.m. Friday at Garden of Grace Church. That's step number two. If you are serious, you'll be there. Garden of Grace Church is at Regina Shelley. The same boundary with everyday supermarkets. Just stop Regina Shelley, walk up to everyday supermarkets. It's the same wall that separates it. There's a mango tree there. Come there. I will explain things that will make you stay with Christ the rest of your life. Hallelujah. Did you hear? So, just what you will do now, maybe after the prayers, just go here. Okay. Go here, then drop your information. Make sure you drop okay, the information. Okay, very quickly, here's what. May I plead that we also bring up uh, the PFN chairman? Okay, it was in my spirit to also have him speak. These are fathers over the land and you are about to receive something that will open a new gate in your life. We have about two, three minutes, maximize it. Now, for all of you here, this is what I want you to do. Please, I want you to feel this legibly, as feel it as truthful as you can. Who do they give it to? Yes, ushers. Now, the ushers. moment you are done feeling it, so make sure you pick up one. The moment you have one sleep, please go back to your seat rejoicing. And then um, when you feel the sleep, don't go with it. Please just wave it and hand it over to an usher. And then Friday, Friday by 5 p.m. 5 p.m. At Garden of Grace Church. At Garden of Grace Church. Every and then you take Supermarket. it from there. Let's celebrate Every them as they go. Now, please rise up on your feet. You may have heard me say prophetically that I am a product of many anointings. I am a product of the speakings of fathers by the privilege of God's grace and the relationship he has provided and afforded me with the fathers of faith in this nation. I've had the honor and the privilege to be spoken over and I know what has happened. In fact, um, I think, is, is Dr. Cosma still here? He's gone? Sir, please may I plead that you come and join us. Let's make this equation complete. Even if it is one, one minute to just make decrees as touching all of the graces represented here. So we'll do it in this order. We'll give our father, the PFN chairman, the room to speak over your life. Please receive every blessing as coming from the Lord. Hallelujah. And then we will give our father, Dr. Cosmas, the opportunity to speak over your life. Hallelujah. And then our father, Bishop, would speak over your life a fatherly blessing that everything that is locked up from their heart now you are not only receiving for yourself in your mind bring your family here in your mind bring your business here in your mind bring your ministry here are you ready to receive yes sir in the name of jesus christ i declare that what started today in your life every miracle every encounter you have had here tonight it is going to be from glory to glory Amen. today is the least you can be from now onwards as i raise my hands over your life over your career over your family over your job let there be multiple explosions for you in the name of jesus From now onwards, Anambra State will become an amazing and awesome place for you to do business, for you to live your life, for you to do whatever you want to do. From here, you will fly to nations. From here, you will go to cities and everywhere you want to reach. From today, something new has begun in your life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. I join my faith with the father of faith, an apostle to our generation, to send you back home tonight a different person in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray by the grace of God that everybody that knew you on the negative will not die, but will live and see you in the positive. By the anointing that is upon me, 
as a servant of the Lord. Oh God, if you ever hear me, hear me now. Especially those who made a commitment to Christ today. I did this 49, 48 years ago. And this is the best decision I ever made as a human being. Go back home. When you get back, anybody that cares to know, tell people you are not the same anymore. Don't stop to testify. Let them know that something happened. And they ask you what? Tell them in plain language, Jesus has come into my heart. Father, I pray for these people. Oh God, I want to meet them on the path of success and progress. More importantly, when it is all over, may we meet on the other side of the river. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Now, hang on. Let me just do something prophetic. I, I don't know this our father, this man of God here in front. But while that was what I was communicating, the Holy Spirit told me that I should plead with him to come, please, and join us, this man. Yes, sir. I don't know you, but please, can let's honor him as he comes. Is that the best you can do? This is the body of Christ declaring over the territory. May God bless and honor you, sir. Yes, sir. Please receive every prophetic speaking that comes from him as from the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, there are times and there are seasons. In agreement with all the graces represented here, I join my faith with theirs. And we declare, in the name of Jesus, that the glory we have begun to see in this place is not ending here. We are impacted by it and we live here to all our spheres of influences and Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development Lord grant me the discipline